decreased risk appetite thanks to the Fitch ratings downgrade has spread across the US markets. You can see here that the 10 year yield has been exploding higher. As yields come up, the discount factor in free cash flow analysis, which largely determines companies' market value and share price, gets pressured on a negative dimension. That means company valuations come down as interest rates increase. We saw a big fall off in risk appetite through the decrease in junk bonds. Spiking yields can also force investors and traders to reconsider different options. For example, if the return on investment is high enough through bonds, why worry about putting your money in the stock market? These asset reallocation decisions are always occurring. However, one thing is very, very solid. If you can get 4.168% through a yield, you should do much, much better than that in stocks, crypto or commodities. Saudi Arabia on the oil front will extend its efforts to restrict oil supplies. That's causing oil to increase in value. Inside the main markets, all sectors were down 0.25%. The best performers, consumer discretionary and energy. The worst performers, utilities and real estate. Apple reported with slightly disappointing results. And we can still see pockets of grain, especially Tesla, Alibaba, Amazon, and the oil and gas integrated sector. The Fed's stance on raising interest rates will be pivotal going forward. We can see that there's currently a 17.5% probability of a 25 basis point increase in the federal funds rate on the 20th of September. It's still quite a way away. Price is always moving in a wave, but when we look at stock sentiment, crypto sentiment, bond and debt sentiment, they are all maintaining their uptrends. They are weakening, but they haven't broken trend. When looking at the crypto market, we know the rules, especially of the crypto market. No alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. As Bitcoin is coming up, the alts too are coming up, even if they look a little red at the moment. When looking at the crypto fear and greed index, we can see an uptick in optimism inside the crypto market. Turning to liquidations, the past 24 hours, the majority of that 47 odd million in total liquidations has been long liquidations. We can see across the past hour, more short liquidations are occurring than long liquidations. When shorts are liquidated, they need to buy Therefore, when a short gets liquidated, the price of whatever that is goes up. For example, YGG, Bitcoin Cash, STMX, KNC. It gives you a bit of an understanding. When longs get liquidated, they are for sellers. They push the price down. So when you see green, that's not good on a liquidation heat map. You want to see red. Looking across the top nine cryptos. We can currently see BNB is the best performer. The greatest gainers in the past 24 hours, top 100, XTC, SHIB, GMX, Optimism, Casper, Injective, Tron, LDO, and GUSD. The greatest losers, top 100, past 24 hours, Litecoin, Stacks, Filecoin, Nia, Rocketpool, Maker, Sui, Tezos, and Flow. And we're going to look into Litecoin a little later on in terms of the smart money buy and sell levels. Some fantastic news for the members of the CTKS Method monthly servers. The S&P 500 smart money buy and sell levels are now out. You have your trading view indicator and also a video. The same with the NASDAQ, the DXY and also Litecoin. Litecoin is really interesting. We wanted to make sure that you had that hot little indicator in your hands. Let's have a look at Litecoin. Litecoin is currently trading at 82.80. When applying level one and level two CTKS method standard certification practices inside the service to maintain the highest levels of quality accuracy each and every month, all periods and timeframes are redrawn, rechecked and re-audited. 
It means whenever you get an indicator from the CTKS method monthly service, it's been redrawn right back to the start of price history. For Litecoin, it's 2013. Now let's pop on the indicator and see what it's telling us. Litecoin was dropping like an absolute brick, but had very, very solid smart money support around that 82.34 up to the 82.66 level. That's exactly what caused Litecoin to stop falling. This is why it's absolutely critical to know where smart money is buying and selling. A lot of people caught in this absolute capitulation move would just be scared to death. We would be buying at these levels. There's a huge difference. You can learn level one and level two standard certification and I suggest you do so because marking up your charts like this is an absolute game changer. You know that Litecoin will come into very heavy sell resistance around this 87.62 mark and there's a lot of support that it's currently on. Knowing these things and understanding how price moves SL to SL and SL is a Stanfield level. This particular one is a strong one. You can see this one is weaker. This one is stronger. This one is not as strong as this one, but this one is stronger than that one. When SLs cluster, they become like a hundred bamboo sticks. If you try to break them all at once, it gets really difficult. That's why they form very solid flaws inside price action. There are videos inside the service to help you to understand how to interpret SLs and forward price projections using three-dimensional risk management as well in each and every video. There are 27 videos. I mentioned that every indicator marks up all the price history since the inception and it depends on the chart as well. Correct selection is part of level two standard certification. In this case, the S&P 500 is marked up since 1871, and that's all contained in this indicator. This indicator tells you where smart money is buying and selling. And if you want this indicator, just pop across to ctksmethod.org. What we notice are so many sell and buy levels. We were caught in a channel with the S&P 500, but as soon as we broke down, there was a fresh air gap. Fresh air gaps are very, very problematic for price. Price can't hold them. And if there's enough momentum, what will occur is the price will just naturally move down to the next SL level to get caught. And if it's not going below, it's going above. At the moment, we see that the S&P 500 bounced from this 44.93 smart money buy level. This is where the algorithms are hanging out. This is exactly why price reacted as it did. If it's not going above, it's going below. We can see some intermediate cutovers here. And I want to show you something else in terms of intercorrelation and interdependence, which is a very important thing to understand. Before I do that, you may notice this fresh air gap. You can see how price just plummeted down to this level, just got caught for a while and kept on going. You might notice this price just bumped up to this level. When you've got fresh air, price can move very, very quickly. You can see that the CTKS method doesn't matter what chart it's applied to. It gives you X-ray vision as to what price could do in the future. I mentioned before intercorrelation and interconnection. This blue line is Bitcoin. This of course is the S&P 500. Notice how Bitcoin was selling down and then the S&P 500 followed suit. Bitcoin is now repairing. Does that mean the S&P 500 is looking to repair as well? Please let me know your comments in the comments section on YouTube. Doing this active learning is incredibly important. Now, why could this be the case? If we look at what Bitcoin actually represents, it represents risk on sentiment. If Bitcoin is coming down, people are losing their risk appetite. If Bitcoin is coming up, people are feeling more optimistic about taking on risk. But you might say, Ken, what about the Fitch downgrade from AAA to AA plus? Remember, the charts tell us the truth. The news sells newspapers, at least in digital form. 
The NASDAQ smart money buy and sell levels have also been released inside the service, as well as a video that explains likely path projections using three-dimensional risk management. The DXY has also been released inside the service with its three-dimensional risk management and potential paths, as well as explanations of how all the SLs intercorrelate and interrelate with each other for the coming month. The smart money buy and sell levels were released on total yesterday. I had that previous question, what do you think Bitcoin could mean for the stock market? When we turn on the CTKS monthly indicator, what it's showing us is a lot of strong support around that $1.127 trillion mark. Crypto has come down market wide, retested, retest it again, retest it again, retest it again, retest it again. It's retested so many times. We've noted that Bitcoin in relationship to the S&P 500 is making its way up currently. This would indicate that total crypto market cap could seek to move back to this resistance level around that $1.153 trillion mark. Of course, we always use three-dimensional risk management. If it doesn't go above, it's going below, and you need to know what that level is. When we look at the Bitcoin indicator, which has been marked up since 2009, we're looking specifically for smart money sell areas. Bitcoin is currently 29,214, and we can see a smart money sell area at 29,257. If Bitcoin comes up, it must first get through that particular level, and then it will seek to move up to around the 29,555 level. If it can't get through this resistance, it's heading down. If it's heading down, it's going down to 28,696. This is so important. You must know where the market structure is. Indicators are good, and they can give you a lot of different information points. However, the Rolls-Royce levels as to where resistance are and support levels are, and I mean are, not is, a lot of times an indicator will give you one specific level. You need multiple. Inside market structure, there is always multiple levels of resistance and multiple levels of support. When it comes to market turbulence, you must know where the safety nets are, where the lower buying levels are, where smart money will step in and support price, like we just saw on Litecoin. It is an absolute game changer and it takes all the stress out of trading and investing. There are 27 indicators covered by the service. If you would like to get them, just visit ctksmethod.org. Each indicator comes with its own video, which maps out potential price paths for the month ahead as well. Have a great day or night ahead, my friends, and Kate and I look forward to catching up with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.